So far on Road to Race, we've discovered Elbors feels the need to drive not just fast, but competitively. We've decided his competitive driving will happen at Tiger High Country, and the car he'll be piloting is the Lotus Elise Sport 220. Vehicles like the Elise require a very unique approach to driving in order to get the most out of them in any competitive setting. And while it's one thing to attend a track day on your own, getting some professional tuition will not only make you a far better driver, but a more competitive one too. This is where Driving Solutions' Mark Williamson comes in. Mark is a highly accomplished racing driver and driver trainer. He successfully competed in everything from open wheelers and Formula Renault through to supercars and race cars in the Asian GT4 Championship, and he'll be putting Elbors through his paces. But before Mark gets into the nitty gritty of driver training, Elbors needs to head out and get a feel for the track, the car, and the conditions. Well, welcome uh, to Sydney Motorsport Park. You've uh, you've had a couple of uh, introductory laps now. Yes. How are you finding the circuit? Uh, I've only literally been here maybe once or twice before, and never properly. Okay. And it's quite a challenging track. It is. There's a lot of corners here. It's a really challenging track, and it feels like there's a couple of off camber corners too, which is a bit interesting. Really tricky. Some on camber, some off camber, some really interesting crests in yeah. the, in around the track, and. In fact, sometimes it's not until you walk around the track that you, you, you see exactly yeah, the lay right. of the land there. Okay, I, I, yeah, I, I spent a fair bit of time going sideways. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's a bit greasy. It is, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I don't think this thing's wearing wet tyres, so, but I'm really enjoying driving it. And we'll I'm, work on that and we'll, we'll get that happening. And the, the, the great uh, thing with the event we have here today being an open track day, I'm going to spend some time in car with you. We'll really consolidate those lines. Uh, we've got some apex cones around the, the track that yep. you would have already noticed where we'll we're really trying and hit those apexes correctly, consistently. And the thing I find when you come to a track event like this with driving solutions is, it's just a build up slowly. Yeah. Um, we've got all day, you know, we've got plenty of time out there, lots and lots of laps to get it right. The funny thing with being on a racetrack is the harder you try and drive or the faster you try and drive, the, the worse it gets. You get. yeah. The slower you get. Yeah. So we'll go out there and we'll try and get it right, we'll get all the accuracy happening and then by the end of the, the sessions, uh, we'll, we'll be going quick. Put in a decent lap. Nicely. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm. I don't know the track very well, and I don't know the car very well, so I've got two things to learn. Uh, yeah. You're a Lotus expert. You've had plenty of driving yeah. experience at a Lotus, so I'm very much looking forward to you sitting over here and telling me what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, they're a wonderful training car. They're, they're probably, without doubt, the best training car you can have to learn how to drive on a track. Okay. You can Why drive do you think that is? I think more of the, the size, because it's a really um, uh, direct vehicle. It's, it's a short wheelbase car being a mid-engine car. It behaves very much like an open wheeler race car in many respects, okay. like a Formula 4 or a Formula car. Yep. And a lot of that weight transfer aspect is very, very similar. Right. And for me, I think if you can drive one of these well, you can drive any car well. So that's why they're a great training car. That's a, that's a good line. I've got, really, yeah. I've, got to, I've got to learn now. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's jump in, let's we'll go. work on it, cool. What I always do as we exit, exit out onto the track is stay on the left-hand side, yep. just all the way down to the first corner there. And generally with this corner, we can probably do it in third gear, at least initially. So on the brakes there, and just really a steady throttle. So without accelerating, just literally hold it at that, coming into the apex, so don't accelerate yet, and then squeeze her on. Just have a little ease off here, and keep it in tight. You want just a light brake, and turn in now. It's an early turn in, and out wide. We'll do this next corner in third this time. Okay. Really important with that Lotus to ease off the brake. It's all about that weight transfer. That's a really good line there. Really smooth. So on the brake, these are off. We're just in a little bit on the early side. Just come out about the middle of the track and then back across. And really look through the corner. Just hold that throttle steady. So don't get on it yet. Hold it at that, hold it at that. Now feed it down there. So good firm hard brake there. Ease off. Just in a little early, feel that understeer? On the brake now, so turn slightly later. Now turn, see the difference there? Yeah. Feel how the back's coming around, that's exactly what you want. That's always the thing with the Lotus, because it's so light in the, in the front. You're trying to help that front turn in by just getting off the gas, and just get a little bit of weight transfer on the front to get it to turn into the corner. And just hold it at that throttle, don't accelerate yet, because it'll understeer if you do. Feel it a little bit there? Yeah. Just pushing a bit. 
We're just on the gas a little bit too early. On the limiter there now, right? That's how much faster you're going. Louise, are off. Just hold the steady here, so no throttle yet. Unwind the lock now. All right, that's good. That's yeah. going great, mate. Really, really nice driving. All right, uh, that was a great session. Uh, finally, the track's dried up, so yeah. we got a chance to push the Lotus Elise a little, little further than we could earlier. And I think the, one of the really great things, as we discussed earlier, with, with a Lotus in particular, on a dry track, you can throttle steer the car and you can really use some of those adjustments with throttle and brake. Yeah, absolutely. And change the weight you felt that then, I, didn't you? Certainly coming into turn three? Turn two. Two, turn yeah. two. Um, just lifting off a bit to get the back to come around. Yeah. That was, I haven't done that in a car before. That was yeah. really quite an interesting way to, to turn the car in. So, I, yeah, I, I got a lot out of that. Um, I felt like the tyres were a bit giving up towards the end. Maybe that should be something we look at. I think so. I think, you know, I, I, just probably the last two or three laps, you could feel the, the rear tyres went a little bit and it started to slide a little in the back. Yeah. And the front tyres started to go. And then it kind of neutralised a little bit then. Yeah, then but it was just slow. Then it was just slow and it was sliding. <laughs> yeah. And that was just the pressures coming up. And I think we've cooked the tyres a little bit. But yeah. the Lotus is performing well. You can see the brakes are really great. The handling of the car is actually really, really good. Yeah, Being a little bit let down by the tyres. So that'd be the next thing, looking at some tyres. Yeah. To just go to, go to another level. So you can do a... 20 or 30 minute session and you know the tyres won't give up and you can really keep pushing the car. Yeah, because that time we were having to ease off a bit, yeah. But I'm really surprised at how well the brakes work even after lap off the lap of abuse. Like, it just seems to be fine. Like, there's yeah. no, there's not even a thought that it was going to let go on me at yeah, all. Absolutely, no fade. Brakes on Lotus are fantastic. It's one of the strong points and it's largely to do with the weight of the vehicle. I mean, it doesn't have big brakes on it, but yeah. the, in comparison to the weight of the vehicle, it stops it beautifully each time. And as you're right, there's no fade. There's a couple of really big stops here on this circuit that yeah. you're really working at hard. Temperatures you could feel in the brakes were nice and low and it wasn't fading at all. So that's just consistent all the way through. So the brakes are a really big strong point yeah, of the vehicle, yeah, yeah. no doubt. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go out there and attempt to set a lap time. Um, Give it a go. And see how, how I go. Well, work on it, keep it nice and smooth, just like we were doing that time, because the techniques were smooth, the lines were great, and the track's drying up, it's really nice now. So ease into it like anything. Don't try and drive fast, because when you try and drive fast, you're always going to go slow. Just try and keep it smooth, try and okay. keep it controlled, get the lines right, consistent, and then the lap time's going to be uh, there. I'll try you. and beat my time before training, but I think, uh, I think that shouldn't be a problem. No, Thank we'll you very much. Cheers. Well Cheers. done. Good driving. While Albors is out doing his best to set his fastest lap, I think it's time I hear from the coach and see how Albors and the Elise are doing. How do you go? It went great. Yeah, we had a, it was a really, it was actually quite a difficult session uh, to, to run through this morning. We had wet conditions and sort of wet dry conditions and then that one was dry. So that was fantastic. So it's been a really nice progression. Would have been easier if it was dry all day or even wet all day for that matter. So the conditions have been different on every session we've been out. So that's a challenge and you know, and funnily enough, if you're looking at the, lo the longer game with Targa events and so on, that, that they are the sorts of conditions you're going to be dealing with from a competitive point of view anyway. So it's actually a good experience to have that on a racetrack as we've had it today. Went really well, dealt with the conditions well, no mistakes, getting better all the time. And as I said earlier, you've just got to ease into it. If he's easing into it, he'll be quick, yep. no doubt about it. How do you think he'll fare in Targa? I think he'll go well. You know, with Targa or any kind of Targa event, you've just got to back it off a little bit. You just can't be right up there at that limit all the time because those road conditions vary so much. So uh, racetracks are very much a known quantity and as um, the road's consistent, you know where, where all the walls are, there's no trees, there's none of those sorts of things. So you have to drive those Targa events as you see them, in my opinion. Uh, but he's well equipped to do that, there's no doubt. I'm not sure we'll, we'll step through this process of training, get the car right, make some changes to it. Get him up to speed, speed a little bit more, and I think he'll do really well. How about the car? How's the, how's, how's the car going? The Lotus Elise is a fabulous car. Yeah, I think you actually couldn't pick a better car to use to train a driver, to take them through that process of improving and becoming a highly skilled driver. Reason being, it's so sensitive. It, it reflects everything the driver does. So if the driver makes a little error, you feel it straight away. Likewise, if the driver's doing things correctly, you'll feel that straight away. So you're getting that instant feedback. And as a driver, that's how you can improve. You know, you get the instant feedback from the Lotus you know what you've done right or wrong, you can adjust it on the next lap. So fabulous car from that point of view. Learning how to throttle steer the car a little through the corners, how to use that weight distribution, and how to uh, drive the car when it's really committed in the corner and what to do, what not to do with the throttle in those situations. And it's a really wonderful little package, you know, in terms of power to weight to ratio, it's exactly what you want to learn to improve your driving. And it's without doubt the best training car you can ever have. With drying conditions and on a set of tyres that are more appropriate for the road than the track, 
Our board's best lap time was a 1.53.10. To put that into perspective, the same car on more track appropriate rubber with a professional driver behind the wheel can crack the 1 minute 50, so our boys has some work ahead of him to get up to race pace. How did you feel you went? Yeah, all right. I uh, had some good laps in there at the beginning and then the tyres died on me. Yep. Uh, that's the, my excuse. I was going to say, these are racing driver excuses. That's a good excuse. The tyres, the shaft, everything was wrong except me. <laughs> no, look, it was good. It was good having uh, the trainer in the car and um, getting some practice in. I learned some really interesting stuff with like lift off oversteer corrections. Yep. Uh, using the rear to turn the car. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting. Haven't done that before. Um, yeah, I'm really dead keen to take this properly and seriously. Excellent, mate. Yeah. Well, I've been having a chat to Mark. Yeah. He's really happy with how you went. That's good. But we're going to step it up. Yeah. We're going to go to Wakefield. We're going to a Lotus Driver's Day. Or oh, good. A Lotus Club Day, basically. So same cars, different Same driver. cars, uh, but it's stepping it up a notch. Really but that was great. This was really, really good, but this is another level up again. I'll put an exige engine in there before we get I, there. I think, from, what, from what Mark said, I think he had to do really well. All right. That's good. Let's go and try it out. Let's do it, mate. Awesome day. Excellent. All right. Bye. Sweet. On the next episode of Road to Race, we head to Wakefield Park in southeastern New South Wales to soak up the atmosphere of a Simply Sports Cars track day and to see how our boys and our elites will do amongst a host of similar machines and some very talented drivers.